You can be seeing advertisements of motorbikes of all kinds. That doesn't make any of them yours. You go and pay to the sellers to possess one of them. If you're interested. You can wish till death. If you're not willing to buy, you can't get. That's what it is with the truth. <laughs> People celebrate revelation. That's our lot in charismatics. Revelation, revelation. Yeah, Christ has obtained for us. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. <laughs> Power, riches, wisdom, my God, strength, honor, glory, and blessings. Shout another hallelujah. Okay, where is the power? They have not asked. Where is the riches? They have not asked. Why? They are interested in the advertisement. They are not willing to pay the cost of acquisition. It is this covenant mentality that must come back to the school of faith. We must bring it back. The covenant mentality of securing access to your inheritance. It's so vital. Many people preaching prosperity, except, I mean, most of them don't do anything that guarantees access. So they harass people to give. You don't profit by what they give you, you profit by what you give. Yes, sir. Any wealth acquired by doing nothing. Does not add value. Proverbs 13 11. He said, Wealth gotten by vanity shall diminish, but it that gathers by labor shall increase. And that's important for all of us who are pastors. What they give you doesn't make you, it's what you give that does. Praise God. It's more blessed to give than to receive. More blessed. I remember we telling my old man before he went to heaven that why don't you sell these properties we are just going about checking on how the building is, how the tenants are behaving. He said, where would I pay my tithe from? I said, from what we give you? He said, God knows who gave me. He will, he will credit to the account. <laughs> he will credit the tithe to the account. <laughs> I said, okay. I mean, you understand that better than I do. So carry on. My God. You can be the most acclaimed teacher if you are not a tithe. Heaven will open. You don't open heaven by revelation. <laughs> you open heaven by tithe. <laughs> my God. No matter how pastoral a pastor you are, if you are not, you are not passionate about souls, you won't see church growth. You can be an entertainer of worshipers. Come on, shout, yeah, 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 <laughs> jump, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's share the goodness, amen. I'm sure you're all happy. <laughs> That's comedian ministry. <laughs> Praise God. The great shepherd said, there are those that of this fold who are not here, them also I must bring, John 10, 16. Every outstanding pastor in the Church of Christ is a so passionate individual. So, so passionate individual. I was on the street four times on a row this week. He didn't start yesterday or the day before yesterday. <laughs> so passionate. All these breakaway churches don't last. Because you also break. <laughs> what you say is what you do. <laughs> You'll be breaking and breaking and breaking. In the name of Jesus, no guesswork anymore in your life. Yes, 